Venezuela What does Venezuela's default on debt mean global financial see rash imminent? The socialist South American nation went into selective default after S&P Global Ratings confirmed it had missed two substantial bond payments. Venezuela failed to make £152 million, pounds, $200 million, coupon payments for its global bonds due 2019 and 2024, which included a 30-day grace period. President Nicolas Maduro summoned investors to Caracas on Monday to propose restructuring the massive debt, but failed to present a concrete plan of action. Four more payments on multi-billion dollar loans are also overdue, but still fall within the 30-day grace period. The payments total £320 million, pounds, $420 million. S&P now gives Venezuela a 50% chance of defaulting again in the next three months. The American financial company said in a statement on November 2, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro announced a government commission to restructure the sovereigns and state-owned Petroleos de Venezuela S.A.'s PDVSA external debt obligations. The first meeting with bondholders was held on November 13, 2017, in Caracas. We would very likely consider any Venezuelan restructuring to be a distressed debt exchange, an equivalent to default given the highly constrained external liquidity, see rating implications of exchange offers and similar restructurings, update. The biggest concern is the default will exacerbate Venezuela's ongoing humanitarian crisis. The country has been suffering from severe shortages of medicine, medical supplies and food since 2014. According to the Human Rights Watch, more than 80% of households in Venezuela live below the poverty line, and S&P reports of 11.7% unemployment rate this year. Because Venezuela has no money to pay its bondholders, investors across the country could begin to strip it of its assets such as oil exports. Crude oil exports are the country's crucial lifeline, and seizing those could in turn have a disastrous effect on the government's efforts to ship food and medicine to its vulnerable citizens. This in turn, could result in chaos across the entire country, argued Fernando Fajito, an analyst at the Economist Intelligence Unit. He told CNN Money, then it's pandemonium. The humanitarian crisis is already pretty dire, it boggles the mind what could happen next. If Venezuela manages to raise enough funds to solve its default before the restructuring operation is complete, S&P said it would raise its credit ratings to CC or high risk. The £45.7 billion, $60 billion debt is in only the tip of the iceberg for President Maduro's government, because multiple foreign loans from countries such as Russia and China raised the total to as much as £106 billion, $140 billion. Meanwhile a paper published by lawyers Mark Walker and Richard Cooper at the Harvard Law Roundtable claims the figure is higher and in the 149 billion pounds 196 billion dollars region Venezuela's debt restructuring is also complicated by heavy United States sanctions which limit American institutions from making business with the country the IMF have come up with a potential annual 22 billion pounds 30 billion dollars aid figure that could help but it is unlikely that foreign investors will extend the lifeline this could result in a massive hilt on global oil reserves according to Bob Dudley, CEO of BP. The member of OPEC is one of the world's leading oil producers, but the default threatens to halt its exports. Mr. Dudley told CNBC on Monday, I think most people would say the Gulf region, I actually say Venezuela. I think Venezuela is just defying economic gravity and I think that's a real wild card. The country's crude oil exports have already plummeted to the lowest level in three years, of just 2 million barrels a day. Venezuela's Petroles de Venezuela S.A., PDVSA, made a goodwill gesture £839 million, pounds, $1.1 billion, payment last week, but concerns are that it could go bust. The Center for International Governance Innovation published a report by Robert Kahn in October 2017 arguing that solving Venezuela's deepening crisis will require strong support from the IMF. The report said any debt restructuring will be extraordinarily difficult for legal, economic, 
and geopolitical reasons, and efforts to ensure broad participation could set precedent on a number of grounds. Success would require coordination and cooperation among major powers, the United States, China and Russia, supported by the G20. If managed well, the possibility exists that a successful resolution could contribute to a strengthened relationship between the new U.S. administration, which has expressed skepticism in multilateralism and the IMF. None of this will be easy, but getting it right could be consequential, both for Venezuela and the international community more broadly.